Hi guys, this Laravel WebSocket chat application tutorial series. And in this part, we will show you how to approve or reject chat request by using Ratchet WebSocket library and vanilla JavaScript. In previous part, we have already learned how to load notification data under this Laravel chat application using WebSocket library. Now we will learn how to approve or reject chat request. So for this, we have goes to dashboard.blade.php file. And here, we have goes to javascript code part. And here, we have create function with name like process chat request. With four argument like chat requested from user id to user id and action. Under this function, we have to write, data variable is equal to an array. In first key, we have to write, chat request id, and in value, we have to write, chat request id variable. In second key, we have to write, from user id, and in value, we have to write, from user id variable. In third key, we have to write, to user id, and in value, we have to write, to user id variable. In fourth key, we have to write action and in value, we have to write action variable. And in last key, we have to write type and in value, we have to write request proceed chat request. So here, we have to store data under this data variable. Now we want to send this data to WebSocket controller. So here we have to write connect variable dot send function and under this. We have to write json.stringify function and under this, we have to write data variable. So it will send data to WebSocket controller in JSON string format. Now we have goes to socket controller class and under this, we have goes into on message function. And here, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write dollar data type value is equal to request process chat request and if this condition true then it will execute if block of code code under this block we have to write chat request class with where method with two argument in first argument we have to write chat request table column name id and in second argument we have to write dollar data chat request id variable after this, we have to write update method and under this method, we have to define table column in an array format. And here, we have to write status key and in value, we have to write dollar data action variable. So it will update data under this chat request table. Now we want to get chat request sender user connection ID. So here we have to write dollar sender connection ID variable is equal to user class with select method and under this method we have to write connect id table column after this we have to write where method with two argument in first argument we have to write id table column name and in second argument we have to write dollar data variable with from user id variable and after this, we have to write get method, so it will make an execute query and store result in dollar sender connection id variable. So after getting sender connection, we have to also get value of receiver user connection id. So here we have to write dollar receiver connection id variable is equal to user class with select method and under this method, we have to write connect id table column. After this, we have to write where method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write id table column name and in second argument. We have to write dollar data variable with to user id variable. And after this, we have to write get method, so it will make an execute query and store result in dollar receiver connection id variable. Now for send data, so here we have to write for each loop. And under condition, we have to write dollar this client's variable as dollar client variable. 
under condition, we have to write, dollar send data, response process chat request is equal to true. Now for send data to sender user, so here, we have to write, if statement, and under condition. We have to write, dollar client variable with resource ID value is equal to dollar sender connection ID variable with zero index with connection ID table column. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code and under this block. We have to write dollar send data user ID variable is equal to dollar data from user ID. And same way, we want to send data to receiver user, so here, we have to write if statement. And under condition, we have to write dollar client with resource ID variable value is equal to dollar receiver connection ID variable with zero index with connection ID table column value. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have to write dollar send data user ID is equal to dollar data variable with to user ID variable. Now for send data, here we have to write dollar client variable with send method. And under this, we have to write php json encode function with dollar send data variable. So it will send data to user in json string format. Now we have goes to dashboard.blade.php file and under this file, we have goes into on method function. And here, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write data dot response process chat request if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have to call load and read notification function and in the argument we have to write data dot user id variable so this function will load chat request notification data under notification area and it will process user chat request now we have goes into this load chat request notification if block of code and here in reject button, we have to write, on click attribute is equal to. Process chat request function with four argument. So in chat request ID, we have to write, data dot data with count index dot chat request table column ID. In from user id argument, we have to write data dot data with count index dot from user id table column name. Into user id argument, we have to write data dot data with count index dot to user id table column name. And in action argument, we have to write reject, so when we have click on the reject button. Then it will send, chat request reject action will be sent to, WebSocket controller. After this, we have goes to, accept button, and here we have to write, on click attribute is equal to. Process chat request function, with four argument. So in chat requested, we have to write data dot data with count index dot chat request table column ID. In from user ID argument, we have to write data dot data with count index dot from user ID table column name. Into user id argument, we have to write data dot data with count index dot to user id table column name. And in action argument, we have to write approve. So when we have click on the approve button, then it will send chat request approve action will be sent to WebSocket controller and it will approve chat request. So here our code is ready. Now we have goes to command prompt. 
First we have to stop WebSocket server and after this we have to start WebSocket server by run this command. Now here in the browser, we can see that, here we have login with two different browser, under this chat application. And first we have refresh, both user web page, and after this, we can see that. One user has been sent chat request, to John Smith user, so here in John Smith account. We have see, chat request, with approve and reject button, and in other user account. We can see, chat request sent, to John Smith, now we have goes into, John Smith account. And here, we have to click, on the approve button, so after click, on the approve button. Here we can see that, chat request notification has been removed, from both user. So this way, we can accept or reject, chat request notification, if suppose we have reject, chat request notification. Then in both user account, chat request reject will be display, under notification area. So this way, we can process chat request, in real time by using, Ratchet WebSocket library. In next part, we will learn, how to load, chat request accepted user, data under this chat application, so we will be meet, in next part.